The government is giving real estate investors just like you tax incentives to invest in neighborhoods they want you to invest in. I happen to know of a neighborhood where I believe you could turn a million dollar profit in just 15 years. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. This is the show where I work with everyday people like you to help you invest in real estate. Today, I'm working with an investor from Austin, Texas named Paula. And Paul, I got a treat for you today. I know of a neighborhood where I believe we can do a deal for you and you can make approximately a million dollars over the next 15 years. How is that possible? We got to do a couple things, right? We got to buy a particular property and hold it for 15 years and operate it as an Airbnb. Then upon the resale, I believe over that 15 years, you will have made cash flow, gotten principal pay down, and on the resale, accomplished some appreciation. With the combination of all of that, I believe you will net over a million dollars in profit. Let's get into the details on that property, how I can help you buy it, and how the whole thing's going to work out right after this. Hey, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just saving money on my rental property insurance. Oh, my, Steve. Take me now. Holton Wise. Real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back. Let's pull up the property. Let's talk about this deal. Let's talk about the neighborhood. Let's talk about Airbnb. But more importantly, let's talk about not paying any taxes. Woohoo! All right. 1850 East 85th Cleveland 44106. This bad boy is a property that we could get for you. Run it as a short-term rental, and most importantly, have you qualify for a 15-year tax abatement, okay? The way this tax abatement works, folks, the city of Cleveland. Now, I don't want you guys to get confused. A lot of you guys from all over the world, you know, you, you're like Cleveland, right? There's the Cleveland market, which features all the suburbs, right? Cleveland, Parma, Lakewood, Euclid, Garfield Heights, all that jazz, right? We're not talking about the greater Cleveland market today. We're talking about specifically the city of Cleveland itself. To get this tax abatement, the property must be in the city of Cleveland, okay? That's number one. Number two, it's got to be a new construction property, okay? Okay. New construction, city of Cleveland, new construction, and then finally, the third thing to qualify for this abatement, it's got to be built with green building standards, eco-friendly standards. You get those three things, you get the 15-year tax abatement. That means you don't have to pay taxes. Now, you take a property like this, list price, 280 grand. I believe we can get it for you for 275 grand. The property tax rate in Cleveland, folks, is 2.79%. 275,000 times 2.79%. That is $7,672.50, okay? So that's a free seven grand a year. That's like 700 bucks a month or something, somewhere in there. Uh, don't, don't check my math with a calculator, but it's around 700 bucks a month, okay? Oh, free money, free cash flow. You're getting from the government, right? And what's cool about this Cleveland tax abatement, the fact that it qualifies, that it's only available for new construction, the fact that this abatement, okay, is available is amazing based upon my thoughts, my personal beliefs on the Airbnb business model. What I don't like to see is investors buying C and D grade properties and then trying to run them as short-term rentals. I don't think that makes any sense. I don't think that's a good investment. But 
I like investing in the path of progress. Okay, number one. Number two, I like buying high-end luxury properties. Okay, so there is certain neighborhoods in the Cleveland uh, city, right? The Cleveland city. I mean, there's certain neighborhoods in the Cleveland market that would make great Airbnbs, but there's certain neighborhoods in the Cleveland city where they're doing a lot of new construction on the path of progress, right? So you still want to be in those high A-grade, awesome locations, and this one is no different. This is downtown, okay? This is downtown. First, let's take a look at the house, right? Beautiful new home, right? Everything's done for you. Turn key. You get the beautiful two-story living room providing the tenants that like wow factor, right? That's how I believe the Airbnb uh, product works the best. When people see this big wow factor and they're like, oh, this is awesome. We want to try to get a premium for how much they're going to pay every night. We don't want to be the budget, the budget Airbnb people, okay? We don't want to We don't want to fight our way down to zero. We don't want to keep discounting the price and try to be like the... Uh, uh, the dollar store version of Airbnb. No, no, no. If you want cheap stuff, you got to go with the low income stuff. Okay. Low income investing, long-term buy and hold. I do a lot of that, make a lot of money. But for Airbnb, we want to go with the luxury market, right? So we got a nice luxury property. All right. Everything is done, right? Now, obviously these photos are, are like mid construction, right? But it's a hundred percent turnkey, two-story living room. That's the wow factor, right? Dual vanities. This thing is banging. Okay. Now, and there's the basement. Basement's just unfinished space, right? Put some, like, roll-away beds in there for storage. Now, as far as the neighborhood, I consider this to be an A-grade neighborhood. Now, be careful, though. Be careful when you're looking at these neighborhoods, right? Because just north, we have this, like, Howe neighborhood, which is a pretty rough area, right? That's, like, what I would consider to be an F-grade neighborhood. And you'll get people that will market it to you guys, like, oh, Howe, it's right next to University Circle. Howe's an F-grade neighborhood, right? University Circle, A. This is Path of Progress. This is where all the brand new development is, okay? This, this the ghetto. This, this is in the middle of all the good stuff, right? So there was some blight, okay, that like crept down here. But now there's multiple people, multiple developers because of programs like this building up new houses. All the new construction is happening there. And it's going to work perfectly for an Airbnb because you're like literally downtown, folks. Like, Look across the street, right? There's some of the new construction happening. All right, across the street, what do you have? Look at this friggin' multi-bajillion dollar, like, complex, right? These are like hundreds of brand new residential units, right? All right there, right? All new construction. Cruise on further, what do you see, right? You see multi-million dollar buildings, right? You're downtown, folks. This is the downtown area. You see all this big construction, all these things popping up as we creep further into University Circle, okay? Look at all this stuff. You see all this new development? This is where you want to be, right? They're touting stuff like that to you guys when you go like up a little bit north into how, but no, that's the ghetto. You got to be in the middle of this, right? So if I am somebody who's coming to the Cleveland market on a vacation, where do I want to be? I want to be in the middle of everything, right? I want to be near downtown. I want to be by uh, University Circle. And then I showed you, I was going east, okay? East takes us to University Circle, but like, guess what happens when you go west, okay? Let's make this bigger again. When you go west, you're getting like right more into like hardcore downtown, right? The Flats, the East Bank, Quicken Loves, the Brown Stadium, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Like, you're, like, literally in the middle, right? So you got your downtown. Like, your hub of downtown is going to be, uh, like, right here. University Circle is right here. Massive construction and large buildings all happening through here. So this, this is right where you want to be. If you travel a little bit too north and you get up in this area, this is the hood, folks. Not a lot happening there. Travel a little bit south down here in Fairfax, rough. Get even further down south into Kingsman, super freaking rough, right? So we pretty much just want to be like right here, okay? That's where we want to be. That's where it's going to work really, really good, right? So all the developers, they're taking advantage of the fact that these tax credits are available, right? So that's why the city's doing it, okay? The more options we have, that allows investors like you, people like you, to invest a ton of money into the market. They're incentivizing you, and that's why these neighborhoods are being brought up, right? Maybe one day it stretches out to other neighborhoods, but not right now. Right now, this is where 
the good stuff is that this is where we can make money. So A-grade neighborhood in the heart of it all. Brand new construction, minimal costs are going to be associated with maintaining this property, and you get the 15-year tax credit. Imagine picking this thing up, running it as an Airbnb for 15 years, and then selling it right before your abatement expires. You're in an area where they're building all new construction. You don't think you're going to get appreciation? Come on, folks. I think you are. And as far as the numbers, what do they look like? Well, they're insane because you're making an extra 700 bucks of free money from the government, right? We should be able to rent it for about 400 bucks a night, right? Plus your, like your fees we'll get from the tenants and whatnot, or the guests, I should say, right? This is short-term rental. They're not really tenants. They're guests, okay? That would project out to $148,800 a year. But, but, you ain't going to rent it 100% of the time. Now, I know Holton Wise is good. I know we run the biggest portfolio in the area. And we will be operating this thing for you, handling everything. All the property management, the maintenance, the hosting, the ads, talking to your guests, installing the Wi-Fi. We're going to do it all for you, folks. But we ain't going to get you no 100%. That's not possible, right? It's Cleveland. It's not Fort Lauderdale. We don't got the fucking ocean right there, okay? But. Historically, we're seeing approximately 62% occupancy. So, given you guys conservative estimates, I will factor in a 38% vacancy in there. After it's all said and done, though, after you pay us, after all your normal fees, whatnot, you got to pay the Airbnbs, things of that nature, you should be bringing close to 62 grand, right? 61 and a half, okay? Now, purchase price. I think we could pick it up at 275, doesn't need any repairs. We're going to furnish it, $25,000 worth of furnishings. We want to stack it with beds, stack it with a great vacation experience. Don't worry, Holton Wise will handle all of that. The more guests we can sleep, the better it's going to be, the higher price points we're going to get. That's why we're able to target that $400 a month price point, right? So all in, you're looking at 300 Gs. Okay, only 93750 comes out of your pocket, right? It's your 25% down plus your $25,000 to buy all the furnishings. Bank kicks in 208000 That's projected as a 55% return on investment. That's just from the cash flow. Now, imagine 15 years later, okay? You've put $93,000 into this investment 15 years later after making an estimated 50 G's a year for 15 years, what would that be? That'd be $750,000. Now you get ready to sell it, right? I'm sure we're going to get some appreciation. Maybe you're selling it for like 300000 400000 I don't know, somewhere in there. You only owe the bank a hundred. You sell it for freaking $400,000. You owe the bank a hundred. You're walking away clean with three hundred k plus the seven hundred fifty k you made over the last decade and a half. That's over a million dollars, right? That's you being able to make a million dollars off of a 93% return on your investment. Can I guarantee that happens exactly like that? No, of course not. And you should never, ever, ever buy anything from somebody who's guaranteeing that. I do not know the future. Like, Cleveland can get by, hit by a freaking nuclear warhead in the next 15 years for all I know. So I can't guarantee anything. But what I can tell you is someone who's investing and has made a lot of money investing, you could look for hints and clues that the area you're in is going to do better, right? Like one of the areas I talk to investors about a lot is the Clark Fulton area, right? Because Clark Fulton is right south uh, from other areas that have gentrified. Ohio City, Tremont, Gordon Square, right? And I talk to investors about D-grade low-income investing. I'm like, hey, if you're going to invest in low-income properties, guys, uh, we need to put Section 8 tenants in there, and I think we should probably focus most of our efforts on this Clark Fulton neighborhood because it directly borders these areas that have already gentrified, and on top of that, uh, Metro Health and the Transit Authority have both committed hundreds of millions of dollars of investment to that area, right? So I can't tell you if that's going to become the next Tremont or Ohio City or Gordon Square, but what I can tell you is it's the only neighborhood that borders them that's getting an injection of several hundred million dollars. So if I'm going to bet, I'm going to bet that that's a good bet, that that's got the highest probability, right? So like with this area, right? You got University Circle, completely built up and developed. Downtown, completely built up and developed. This thing is on the main track, right? The main road that connects the two. In the middle of a ton of other new development, right? Cleveland, Ohio, historically, not one of the markets you go to for appreciation. But if you're investing in an area where there was some blight and then they tore down all that blight and now they're giving away millions of dollars in tax incentives to investors because they want to see more new construction built up around these areas, Hello? 
I would say that's a pretty good bet that things are going to go good, and it is very possible to net about a million dollars off of this investment, folks. That's just my opinion, though. The rest is up to you to do your due diligence and let me know if you want to make an offer. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.